very sure how many times I have to answer this question, but up to now, I think it's a bit laughable. Is it not really a fraud, a scandal, a conspiracy in the education sector, especially in Africa, Kenya included, that after every 10 years, when the regime changes, there is this push that the education is wrong. We've got to do new reforms. We've got to come up with a new education system. What's the point there? The point is simple. There are those who are consultants that are experts in writing new curriculum. There are those that are experts in getting hotel rooms to have conferences. There are those that are good in going to overseas countries to see what the Americans are doing, what the Koreans are doing, what the Britons are doing. They are doing benchmarking. My foot. Mm. Me, me. Adi, you are benchmarking for the last 15 years while wasting many, many generations. What is it that is in education that we don't understand? Everybody knows that in the beginning, God planted in you your unique talent. And your job is to discover that unique talent and grow it into a gift. So, why are we missing the point and pretending that we can be able to manipulate somebody's intelligence through just classrooms, through curriculum, and get the decided people. Not that it is bad, but the more we see the youth out there on the streets that are holding those papers, don't have jobs, don't have connections with the real world, it tells us volumes of things about what you've been doing. That you've been cashing in in the ignorance of the large population. That you go to Benmark and you come back, but you only manage to take your children to learn there and you leave the masses telling them you're fixing the education system. I think that is a scandal and it is a fraud to the larger part of that population.